Good afternoon. Welcome to the Collins Hill High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. I am Lee Ogman, the very proud principal of Collins Hill High School, and we are thrilled to share this exciting event with you, and we ask for your cooperation in creating a dignified, student-focused celebration for our students and for all of us present here today. We respectfully ask that you please silence your cell phones and hold your applause until the appropriate time. Again, I wanna thank you for being here today and for helping us create a wonderful celebration for our students. I am also going to take a point of privilege right now to remind everyone that this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day marks a very special moment in the time that we get to pay our respects and honor to the memory of those who have fought for the freedoms that we enjoy today. We have the unique opportunity to recognize many that have gone before us and paid the ultimate price fighting for freedom and justice. We may not all agree on the cause, the reasons why, or if we should have ever been involved, but I truly believe that we can all agree that those that have fallen were someone's child. In fact, some of those that have fallen were children at some point in Gwinnett County Public Schools. Therefore, I ask that you pause with me now for a moment of silence and recognition of our fallen heroes. Thank you. I also want to have a, a moment to recognize that when we bring our colors in um, and the flag, we want to make sure that everybody respects the proper decorum. Um, so that would be that everybody stands and remains standing in silent respect. Families and friends have come to see their students graduate. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking that you recognize the importance of this day and hold the dignity of this ceremony with the utmost respect. Please show respect for your fellow parents and friends that have sacrificed. Many have traveled long and far to get here today. And we ask that you keep this commencement ceremony um, dignified. We ask that you refrain from any distractions that may take away from the moment for each and every one of you. When the names of our students are called, I ask that you hold your applause, noise making, and loud cheering until every student has been recognized. And believe me, I understand. I just had a student graduate on Wednesday, so I know the joy and excitement that you guys are feeling in this moment. However, every family deserves to hear the name of their student called. So please honor all of our students by adhering to this respectable request, and I promise when we get to the end, to that very last name, we will scream, we will cheer, we will holler for as long as we want to. Again, thank you for your cooperation. And at this time, I welcome Emma Acosta to the podium to explain the history of the cap and gown. Good morning, family, friends, and loved ones. My name is Emma Costa, the Senior Class Spirit and Service Officer, and I'll be presenting the legend of the cap and gown this morning. Long ago, in ancient Greece, formal education was either for the very rich or the very determined. A wise old teacher was approached by a group of noble men who stated, our sons have completed their studies and it is time for them to return to their homes and live in the style benefiting their station. On the morrow, we will hold a great banquet in their honor and expect them to be dressed in the finest garments. The old man smilingly answered, they will be there, and he added, appropriately dressed. The following day, the banquet hall was filled with royalty and nobility, dressed in dazzling jewels and costly finery. Then came the greatest moment when the students entered with their beloved teachers. A startled cry arose from the crowd from here where their young men dress not in garments of noble, but in simple sackcloth robes, each carrying a mortar board, the mark of a common workman. Let me explain, spoke the teacher as he raised his hand for silence. Your sons are dressed in the clothing of the mason for their destiny is to build. Some will build cities, some will build lives, perhaps one of them may even build an empire but all will be builders on their solid foundation of knowledge. And thus, over the years, the cap and gown have become a tradition, a traditional part of graduation, symbolizing the fact that our young men and women are builders of their own futures and the futures of their world. 
And now, please stand for the presentation of the colors by members of Collins Hill High School's Air Force JROTC, Caitlin Hale, Jonathan Hernandez, Troy Johnson, and Brownetta Sokomukai, and remain standing as Nathan Davis leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States.
you may all be seated. At this time, I would like to call our senior class president, Radia Nadim, up to the podium to share our welcome. Hello everyone, my name is Radhi Nadeem and I am your senior class president. I would like to introduce those seated behind me. District 2 board member, Mr. Steve Knudsen, Kathy Hardin, Chief Human Resources Officer, Dr. Al Taylor, Chief of Schools, our Collins Hill Cluster Principals, Dr. Kimberly Gillette, Creekland Middle, Dr. P Dale Pugh, Walnut Grove Elementary, Dr. Alan G, Rock Springs Elementary, Ms. Tawanda Sanks, Taylor Elementary, Ms. Thais Scott, McKendry Elementary. Our senior class sponsors, Ms. Monica Ebelhair, Ms. Nicole Frank, Ms. Kara Norton, Ms. Paula Skinner, Assistant Principal, and of course, our Collins Hill Principal, Ms. Lee Ogman. Now, I want to start us off with a story. I remember walking through my elementary school hall in kindergarten and seeing a sign outside one of the teacher's doors that read, Class of 2023. I was so confused, thinking, it's 2010, why in the world do they have that sign up? It took a few years for me to realize just how important that number is for every single one of us sitting here today. The year of definite end, but also of definite beginnings. The year of many firsts, but also many lasts the year of a collective understanding that we should make the most of what's left, 2023. The number is just filled with accomplishments. Our sports teams, many of which entered playoffs, including the boys varsity soccer team and the girls varsity lacrosse team, earned over $1 million in athletic scholarships. In fine arts, we brought home a National Thespian Excellence Award. 468 of us are college bound, out of which 54 will attend a top college or university. 16 of us will bravely serve in the military. 73 will go straight into the workforce. 185 sitting here today are honor grads. And while this seems like just a list of numbers, these are contributions our students made to make our class a class of distinction. They give the class of 2023 a unique story to tell. However, these large wins could never undermine the smaller but just as important wins that we all made. Whether that was making friends, maturing, finding our true selves, or learning to persevere, we have developed strengths that will follow us wherever we go when we walk out of this arena today. In just four years, we have all made decisions that will define who we are for a lifetime, and that is something that should never be overlooked. We have faced pressure, difficulty, and loss, but with it came this special day, the day in which we celebrate facility, ease, and gain. For that, we must also thank those who gave us the resources for success to be possible, our parents, teachers, administrators, and school staff. These mentors are often overlooked, but right now we sit in the fruits of their contributions. While the thought of ending these four years may bring bittersweet feelings or make you a little teary-eyed, I assure you, life only gets even more brilliant from this point forward. These past four years were just a part of the long, winding road of life, and we are grateful to have been a small part of your journey. I was a part of the class of 2023 when I was five years old, walking through that small kindergarten corridor. 
I'm a part of this class today, and I will remain a part of this class 50 years from now, just as you all will be. In a life that will bring constant oncoming change to our identity, we will have one thing that will remain constant. We will leave today knowing that no matter how, we fa how far we go, we have a spirit that unites us, and that spirit could not exist without the presence of each and every one of you. Thank you, class of 2023. I would like to now introduce our distinguished guest, District 2 board member, Mr. Steve Knudsen. Mr. Knudsen is a product of public schools having attended three elementary schools, one middle school, and three high schools in Oregon. He is proud to come from a family of educators. Graduating with honors from Gresham High School just outside of Portland, he then attended George Fox University where he graduated with honors as well. When he moved to Georgia 25 years ago, Mr. Knudsen's career focus became one of raising funds for various nonprofits. He and his wife, Shelley, made the decisions to raise their four children in Gwinnett County, choosing a career path that would allow his family to continue residing here. He turned down several promotions and opportunities because they would have required leaving Gwinnett County. All four of his children graduated from North Gwinnett High School. Currently, Mr. Knudsen is in business development for an Ohio-based manufacturing company. Due to his nonprofit background, Mr. Knudsen understands financial stewardship and the need for a balanced approach in Gwinnett County. Having raised four children, he understands the need for flexibility in instruction as long as the goal remains producing world-class students ready for the world ahead. Knudsen's wife has 19 years in teaching, so he understands the needs of teachers as well as the benefits that come with teaching. When Mr. Seconder approached him to consider running for the Board of Education, Mr. Knudsen saw this as an exciting opportunity as he was eager to give back to the community that has done so much for him and his family. Mr. Knudsen has been married to his beautiful wife, Shelley, for nearly 38 years, and they have four grown children and three grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Knudsen to the podium. Congratulations, class of 2023. You did it. Now you enter the next phase of your education. Not just those of you who will enter college, but all of you, because whether it's college, career, or the military, you will always be learning. I love the opportunity to celebrate with graduates each May. To experience the joy that achieving such a milestone brings is rejuvenating. Being able to share a few thoughts that might be helpful to you in the next stage of your journey is invigorating. And for me, a person who will enter their seventh decade next Tuesday, I need all the rejuvenation and invigoration I can get. Entering a new decade always brings about a certain amount of introspection, as should accomplishing a milestone like you are today. So join me and let's reflect on where we've come from and where we're going. Up until now, your life has been more directed by others. And after today, your life will be more directed by you. In the fourth century BC, there were three philosophers. You're familiar with them, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, and no, I didn't know them personally. But Socrates said, it's not living that's important, but living rightly. And Aristotle added that living rightly was to be a person of reason and character. He outlined four virtues or positive moral character qualities that if pursued, would lead to a natural level of happiness. What Aristotle proposed is somewhat contrary to the world today, and I've been struck by that as I have reflected over that the last few months. The first virtue, according to Aristotle, was prudence, or defined for us today would be deciding for the good. Another way to look at it is the perfect ability to make right decisions. If you're unsure, remember that wisdom seeks counsel, always. My challenge to you is to forward think through the lens of what is good, not just for you, but for all, and you'll probably make the right decision more often than not. The second virtue is justice, or to act for the good. Another way to look at justice is giving every person their due. It's the practice of putting our decisions into action. And sometimes we miss out on helping others and must own our imperfect practice. My challenge to you is to consider the responsibility that you have to help others and practice doing the right thing when it's the right time. The third virtue set forth by Aristotle is fortitude or suffering for the good. 
It can also be defined as a readiness to fall in battle. This may be the virtue at most odds with life today. And I know there are times I've lost sight of the idea of suffering in pursuit of happiness. And here's another way to look at it. It's been said that to be excellent in something, you must do it 10,000 times. And some things that seems like suffering. But my challenge to you is are you willing to practice something 10,000 times to live rightly, to develop a tolerance, to overcome self? And the fourth virtue is temperance or self-control. This has to do with maintaining harmony within yourself. It means not giving any part of yourself to excess. An applicable saying might be any asset taken to an extreme can become a liability. My challenge to you is to don't look around at what others are doing or not doing, but listen to your heart, take care of you, and maintain a posture of discipline to pursue good. In closing, I'm sure you've heard the saying that hindsight is 2020. That if you could go back, knowing what you know now, you would do things differently. Well, what if you had a vision for how to live life that would reduce those feelings of looking back? The virtues that Aristotle proposed do just that. They build on each other and pull you into right living, making the right decisions, acting on those choices, suffering through getting it right and maintaining harmony in your life through self-control. Interestingly, these teachings of Aristotle disappeared for about a thousand years. And when Thomas Aquinas, the last universal teacher of the church, came across them in the 13th century, he didn't change them, he didn't get rid of them, he simply added three more faith, hope, and love. But that's a lesson for another day. So go forward to live a life for the good. You can do it, and you'll be happy that you did. Congratulations, class of 2023. Wow, great words of wisdom. Thank you, uh, Mr. Knutson. At this time, I'd ask that you please give your attention to our Collins Hill High School Orchestra, Dance, Chorus, Band, and Musical Theater Seniors for a combined performance of A Million Dreams and This Is Me.
my skin will fire away cause today I won't let the shame sink in Send a flood, gonna drown him out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am, I am who I'm meant to be. This, this is me. The flood is here, I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. To the beat I drum. I make no apologies. This is me. Whenever the words wanna cut me down, I'll send the flood to drown them out. That was absolutely amazing. Once again, thank you to our senior orchestra, senior band, senior chorus, senior musical theater, and senior dancers for what a wonderful performance. At this time, please welcome Christina Pham to the podium. She is our salutatorian, and she's going to give the salutatorian address. Hello class of 2023 and everyone else who is here today. I want to express my gratitude to my family, friends, and teachers for their constant support and encouragement over this four-year journey. Without their direction, I wouldn't be able to stand here as your salutatorian and talk to you today. This step is a significant achievement and will alter our lives in meaningful ways. We're not just going from high school to college or a job. It's more than that. We're going from childhood to adulthood. Throughout childhood, we have learned so many lessons that shaped who we are today. Our experiences from playing on monkey bars, understanding fractures, fighting global pandemics, uh, have taught us to persevere through hardships no matter how difficult. 
I certainly am not aware of all the challenges everyone in our school faces, but I want everyone to know that whatever you have been through, both your successes and failures, has contributed to the person you are today. Each and every graduate here possesses the ability to accomplish something spectacular. I challenge you to pursue what's most dear to you. Make the most of the opportunities given to you. Follow your passions and work towards a cause that's meaningful to you. Now, to my friends, I can't believe our time together is ending and we're going our separate ways. Y'all are the best and I'll miss you. And to all of our parents and families, we'll always be your baby no matter how old we get. That will never change. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Christina. At this time, please give your attention to our soloist, Erin Driscoll, for her performance of Do I Make You Proud. Do I 
dream about But the only question with me now Is do I make you Do I make you proud That was absolutely amazing Please give your attention now to our valedictorian, John Kim. Uh, he is going to give us the valedictorian address. Good afternoon, everyone. How are we all doing? Hi. My name is John Kim, and I have the privilege and honor of standing up here as a Collins Hill Class of 2023 valedictorian. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, I'd like to thank our faculty and staff for their efforts in making Collins Hill soar. Thank you to all of the teachers who guided the students here. And special shout out to all the custodial and cafeteria staff because they are the unseen pillars of our school. Also, mega special shout out to my family. Look, I'm on the big screen. Hi, Oma, hi, Appa. <laughs> Anyways, Post Malone once said, congratulations. Kind of corny, I know. All 13 years of your efforts have led to this moment, so be proud you seem to be Sea Hill alumni. However, I'm sure you've all heard this plenty, so I'd like to take you back to much simpler times. Times like when you sat in the shopping cart, annoying people just trying to get snacks, like pickles. Times like when you skipped rocks on the water, or when you sat crisscross applesauce on the floor watching Bill Nye the Science Guy. Or, when you listen to music in the car, windows rolled down without a care in the world. And I'm willing to put money, Taco Tuesday prize picks money, on the fact that everyone seated here today can tie a song to a specific part of their lives, whether it be a core memory, a friendship, or an achievement. All the good and all the bad. Now, you and your seat buddy around you probably thought of different songs from different genres, from different time periods. Like, personally, for graduation, I thought of the lyrics, you thought I was feeling you? Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> oh, wrong line. Uh, I actually meant, although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. Voice to men, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> well, we really are turning from boys to men, sorry, men. And while our song titles are different, we all make music meaningful and it intertwines people, whether on a late night car ride with friends or gathered around the campfire to sing our campfire song, our C-A-M-P, <clears throat> and during high school, I listened to over 360,000 minutes of Spotify, which is about 250 full days. And my library has grown tremendously, and I bonded with some of the most important people in my life through music. And fingers crossed that I stay vibing with them for the rest of my life. Regardless of where and how we grew up or our own personal beliefs, we respect each other's melodies. However, not everyone will welcome your melody with open arms. We are about to step into a world full of disconnect, which, by the way, is a great song by Black, spelled 6-L-A-C-K on Spotify, that profits from exploiting negative emotions, greed, envy, anger. And as a result, the connective nature of music is desperately needed in the world today. As a society, we have never been more connected because of technology, yet so divided. We are quick to judge others, quick to repress our own interests to fit in, and quick to mute the volume of our own internal speaker, listening instead to the sound that others blast, their likes, their expectations, and their vision of success. So just be careful what you listen to, because there are a lot of bad radio stations out there in the world. All I'm trying to say is, don't hesitate. Play your song unapologetically, and change it only when you want to. After all, you got aux. You set the volume, you choose the genre, and you write your own lyrics. Don't fast forward your own song because others don't like your sound. Because naturally, people who truly appreciate you will keep singing your song like na 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 every day like the iPod sucker me play. <coughs> Once again, congratulations class of 2023. Remember to thank your family, friends, and all those you hold close to your heart. And like Mac Miller said, I just graduated high school. Thank you.
Thank you, John. Next, we have Wyatt Dasher, Deanna Jelani, and Paulina Martinez to share their reflection on Collins Hill's vision. Good afternoon. My name is Deanna Jelani. Scholarship is often defined as academic studies or achievements. However, scholarship is not only restricted to the grades we achieve or the awards we earn. It is the art of lifelong learning and the genuine interest of wanting to learn more, as the more we learn, the greater understanding we gain of the world around us and its pursuits. Through scholarship, we learn the value of perseverance, patience, and responsibility. Each failure or disappointment we endure should not be considered a permanent stop sign. Instead, we should consider it open door of new possibilities and lessons as it increases our drive to continue learning, regardless of where life takes us. Scholarship is not solely for academics. It can relate to our eagerness to learn a topic for our classes, a new hobby to pass the time, or our willingness to become open-minded when understanding and appreciating each other's differences and stories. With scholarship, we learn about Consul's great diversity and how our unique interests in the things we enjoy learning continue to shape our school, community, and personal lives. Um, our individuality allows us to learn from each other and grow into young adults together to learn about the aspects of life. Despite not knowing where our knowledge will take us, it is unquestionable that graduation is not the end of education. It is just the beginning of a new era of learning. No matter the path you take after graduating from Collins Hill, you are guaranteed to influence countless lives as you spread the principles of scholarship and continue your journey of lifelong learning. As Sufyan Ibn Ilyana once said, the first step in knowledge is to listen, then to be quiet and attentive, then to preserve it, then to put it into practice, and then to spread it. In a world where educational disparities are prominent, I urge you to take the knowledge you acquired at Collins Hill and convey it to those who may not have had the privilege of a public education, and let those in your new chapter of life know what it means to be an eagle. Good afternoon, my name is Paulina Martinez. In high school, service is often thought only in terms of the hours we accumulate to satisfy a point requirement. However, as we have grown and participated in service endeavors throughout school, we have learned that the satisfaction of volunteering is not found in accumulating hours to earn a cord for graduation or to be eligible for scholarships. The satisfaction comes with the realization that service builds character. It's a learning opportunity and it really does make the world a better place. We should not wait for others to bring the opportunity to us, but instead actively seek ways to engage in meaningful service. In this way, we become servant leaders, serving others first and leading by example. We should prioritize the needs, growth, and well-being of individuals and the greater community over our own personal gain or power. We live in an increasingly individualistic society where people are always expecting something in return for their actions. It's become the norm. These days, it's rare to find someone who serves just to serve. Service is not conditional of the time, situation, or person. True service is personified by the teacher who's willing to take extra time after school to help a student who's struggling because they've noticed they've been having a hard time, or the student who visited their teacher's house and left care packages while she was recovering from surgery. During my time here at Collins Hill, I've learned that you don't have to look very hard to find people who are struggling. Whether it's as small as picking up someone's dropped textbook in the hallway or comforting someone who has lost a loved one, it doesn't take much to be of service to others. Every day, opportunities present themselves. With a little bit of selfless effort, you can find countless ways to make a difference in your community wherever you may find yourself. Service is not a duty, it's a privilege. Your simple act of kindness may not make a difference to the entire world, but for one individual, it can make a world of difference. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and the graduating class of 2023. Today we gather here to celebrate our accomplishments and to reflect on our time together as Collins Hill Eagles. And what better way to honor this occasion than by reflecting on the unwavering spirit 
that has soared within us these past four years. High school is much more than a building or a place of education. It was a community where we laugh, cry, and grew together. It was a collection of the experiences that we shared, the moments that united us all, and at its heart was a spirit that connected us all. It's an energy that drives us to cheer on our many sport teams, applaud our performances, and support our clubs and organizations. But our school spirit was not limited to those grand events. It was present in the everyday interactions, the small gestures of kindness, and the support we have shown each other. It's in the friendships we forged, the bonds we created, and the memories we now share. As we prepare to embark on our individual paths, let us remember that spirit was not limited to these past four years. It's a lifelong attitude. It's a commitment to staying connected to our roots and giving back to our communities. We will carry that spirit within us. Let us serve as a reminder to the incredible things we've accomplished together and the potential we hold as we move on to the next season of our lives. Let it be a guiding light that propelled us to make a positive impact on those we encounter and as we pursue our dreams. As we bid farewell to the hallways that have been our second homes, let us hold on to the memories, the lessons, and the spirit that has shaped us. As we venture out into this world, let us go forth with the knowledge that the spirit of Collins Hill lives in each one of us. Congratulations, class of 2023. May your futures be bright, your spirits be unwavering, and your impact profound. Thank you. Today marks an incredible milestone in the lives of the young people seated before us. The successful completion of their K-12 education has not occurred by happenstance or by luck. It is the direct result of continuous guidance, love, and support provided by parents, extended family, and friends along the way. It has truly taken a village, and those of you that are gathered here today in support of these graduates should also be commended and celebrated. So if you are a parent, guardian, family member, close friend, teacher, staff, or other, and you are here to celebrate these graduates today, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. <laughs> Members of the class of 2023, as I told you, as I told you at our senior breakfast last week, I have only served as your principal for one year. Um, but I could not be more proud of all that you have accomplished in these last four years. The class of 2023 will always be remembered as the class whose freshman year was cut short by the beginning of a global pandemic and whose sophomore year was overshadowed not only by COVID, but by a wave of civil unrest that spread across our country. You're also the class that witnessed the emergence of an unprecedented mental health crisis and the tragic rise of opioid abuse that continues to plague your community. Yet despite all of this adversity, you are a group of students that has persevered. You have demonstrated your adaptability, creativity, and resourcefulness when thrust into digital instruction and bound by face masks and social distancing. During your atypical journey here to graduation, you managed to demonstrate mastery of the AKS in your classes and to develop your ability to think critically and to solve problems. Although I suspect that most of you have a preferred mode of correspondence that might be snap or text, I am confident that you also have increased your oral and written communication skills during your time in high school. Beyond the content, knowledge, and skills that you have gained over the years, my hope is that your experience in Gwinnett County Public Schools, and specifically at Collins Hill High School, has also developed your ability to be curious about, to value, and to embrace diverse cultures and unique perspectives. As you venture out into the world, whether you are planning to serve in the armed forces, immediately join the workforce, or continue with post-secondary educational options, you may find that the world is very different than what you have grown accustomed to at Collins Hill High School. People you encounter may not have the benefit of learning and growing alongside people that don't look like them, speak like them, think like them, or act like them. At Collins Hill High School, you have competed as teammates, 
performed on the stage next to, collaborated on projects with, laughed, and even maybe cried a little bit with people that hail from over 120 different birth countries and speak over 100 different languages. Lean into that experience that's unique to Collins Hill. Lean into that experience with people from different backgrounds to navigate new spaces and places. Use it to make new connections and to build bridges of solidarity. Take your experiences, all that you have loved, and even the things that you may have not liked about Collins Hill, and take that out into the world to make it better. Be scholars, be leaders, and be community servants. Make us proud, class of 2023. Go Eagles. And now, as the official representative of Collins Hill High School's faculty, I certify that each of these candidates before us um, this afternoon have successfully completed those requirements for graduation set forth by the Gwinnett County P Board of Education and the state of Georgia. It is the recommendation of the faculty and staff that they are bestowed their respective diplomas with all the rights and privileges which accompany them. I now present present to you the class of 2023. Valedictorian honor gra graduate John Michael Kim. <laughs> honor graduate salutatorian Christina Pham. Gada Abu Atwan. Honor graduate Emma Sarai Acosta. Emily Emusan Agoba. Honor graduate Kylie Monette Aguinaga. Maximiliano Aguirre. Eric David Aguirre Quinones. Vanessa Mercedes Alfaro. Honor graduate Zafar Syed Ali. Andrea Juliana Almirales. Honor graduate Nadine Rasui Altamimi. Andrea Carolina Alvarez Aquino. Liseth Marina Alvarez Berrios. Honor graduate Abner Santana. Nathan James Amos. Honor graduate Sarah Amu. Honor graduate Amanda Florence Ampio. Riley Ann Anderson. Honor graduate, Emily Catherine Angelit. Scarlett Rose Anthony. Honor graduate, Alex James Arakel. Kiara Arias. Honor graduate, Constanza Arioja. Andres Felipe Arandono Guerrero. Camilla Nicole Artero Zelaya. Michael Ariana Atkinson. Honor graduate, Siong Sin Ong. Grace Daniela Avalos Leandro. Nancy Araceli Badillo. Honor graduate, Kai Asia Bailey. Honor graduate, Valeria Isabel Benegas Metamoros. Amari Octavius Banks. Gabrielle Ashley E. Barker. Elijah Barrero. 
Isel Barrero. Nadia Dorothy Barnes. Julia Barrera Chavez. Claudin Valeria Beauvoir. Carla Paola Becerra. Paul Emil Ballou. Honor graduate Samira Amotala Bello. Chase Evan Bentley. Micah Harrison Bevel. Honor graduate Pratham Divikant Bat. Honor graduate Kale Alexander Bierman. Honor graduate Christoph Ethan Blackman. Jaden Samar Blanks. Honor graduate Isaac Glenn Bonacci. Ezekiel D. Bonsu. Honor graduate Alana Marissa Bozeman. Kyla Janelle Renee Bracey. Honor graduate Owen Christopher Brady. Aiden Douglas Breshers. Honor graduate Meg Catherine Bridge. Jada Monique Britton. Honor graduate Emily Margaret Brock. Honor graduate Peyton McKenzie Brock. Arabella Elise Brown. Brandon Maurice Brown. Honor graduate Callie Ann Brumfield. Jemias Alexander Bryant. Kaylee Renee Burfield. Sean Michael Burt. Araceli Calderon. Honor graduate Kanye Nasir Camacho. Jasmine Renee Camp. Gal Ignacio Campestrano. Ashley Kanaka Melissa Montepeque. Zoe Bella Akisa Carpenter. Guadalupe Castanon Estevez. Angelica Isabel Castillo. Honor graduate Emma Christine Kate. Diara Xavier Daniel Chang. Honor graduate Shane Chang. Honor graduate Haley Nicole Dave Chappelle. Kiana Oline Charles. Honor graduate Megan Angelina Chen. Kaylin Chang Torres. Mia Chen. Chris Hyunsu Cho. Honor graduate Yewan Cho. Devin Bryce Christian. Honor graduate Zoe Marie Christopher. Emily Paige Claybear. Jonathan Davis Klein. Reagan Marie Magdalene Clough. Honor graduate Ryan Christopher Coffey. Cameron Nicole Collins. Carrington Kiera Cooper. Honor graduate Alfredo Alejandro Cordero. Dini Corsino Rodriguez. Leila Isabel Joshkin, honor graduate. Caleb Khalil Cottrell. Andrew John Cox. Dion Caleb Crawford. Michael Ezekiel Cruz. Andrew Cruz. Cheyenne Marie Cruz. Honor graduate Melanie Alexa Cruz Castellanos. Roberto Cruz Ortiz. Honor graduate Camila Juliana Cruzado Jano. 
Christina Deng, Moinag Raj Das, Honor Graduate Wyatt Dasher, Ethan Samuel Davis, Jaden Matthew Davis, Honor Graduate Nathan Dion Davis, Ryan Austin Davis, Tierra Alice Davis, Hassan Deme, Salma Diallo, Genesis Ailani Diaz, Honor Graduate Aylin Alejandra Diaz Velasco, Honor Graduate Chi Do, Michael Anthony Dorimus Jr., Rally Zion Dorsey, Haley Sinclair Douglas, Kayla Leah Doyle, Aaron Kathleen Driscoll, William Patrick Drummond, Honor Graduate Ashley Genesis Duarte Flores, Andre Jamal Dura, Aiden Paul Eccles, Honor Graduate Allison Morland, Morgan Ehrlich, Santiago Elizondo Gaviria, Honor Graduate Emma Marie Emil, Ray Edward Ebbs Jr., Ra Raul Escalante, Jennifer Grace Escobar, Honor Graduate Gina Joashley Esteban, Sarah Estrada Castaneda, Javier Antonio Evangelista, Honor Graduate Gilbert, Gilbert Chalanke Fanbule, Honor Graduate Naomi Elizabeth Fairman, Haminda Safira Faustin, Kenneth Gabriel Fernandez, Honor Graduate Kwani Fields, Honor Graduate Sarah Marie Fitzsimmons, Honor Graduate Ryan Elise Flood, Honor Graduate Giovanni Joel Flores, Leonardo Lionel Flores, Paula Flores, Esmeralda Flores Garcia, Brendan Brian Forbes, Dimitri Charles Forsey, Honor Graduate Mallory May Fortner, Lauren Elizabeth Franklin, Ayana Lachey Frazier, Benjamin Edward Fries, Jacob Max Frisina, Luke Kashmir Frisina, Alexander Fritsch, Honor Graduate Stormy Lee Gaddy, Kevin Samuel Garay, Aixa Viviana Garcia Riano, Guillermo Garcia Acuna, Omari Keishon Gary. Eric Paul Gastelum, Morgan Janae Gathers, Honor Graduate Brenda Suzanne George, Aiden Mark Georges, Elijah Kameni Germana, Honor Graduate Brianna Kayla German, Honor Graduate Cole Clifton Gibson, Honor Graduate Parker Paul Gilly. Sofia Gomez, Aniela Bridget Gomez Roman, Honor Graduate Lillian Gomez Dusik, Gregorio Gonzalez, Honor Graduate Michael Jose Gonzalez, Jennifer Gonzalez Cordero, Vianney Leticia Gonzalez Bamaca, Honor Graduate Dominique Kayla Goodman, 
honor graduate, Isabella Marie Gorecki. Luis Angel Garcia Zepeda. Amari Achilles Grant Jr. Donald Griffin IV. Honor graduate, Ryan Thomas Griffin. Giselle Quasey Griffin. Mm -hmm. Honor graduate, Natalie Gorecka. Honor graduate, Pamela Victoria Guerra. Honor graduate, Alexander Guzman. Honor graduate, Michael Quasey Jamfe. Sergio Junior Hernandez. Me. To it, Ha. Josiah Allen Hamilton. Marquise Allen Hamilton. Kishan Devon Hampton. Zaid Alexander Handel. Xavier, Samuel Xavier Harden. Talisa Michelle Harris. Honor graduate. Deja Sky Harmon. Honor graduate, Jaden Guiana Hart. Madison Janae Hatcher. Honor graduate, Bindi K. Lay. Honor graduate, Alex Christopher Hedges Griggs. Honor graduate, Candy Ann Henry. Honor graduate, Nicholas Shane Hepburn. Honor graduate, Matthew Thomas Herbert. Johan Hernandez. Yang Zachary Hugh. Patrick Norbert Hines. Haley Havana Hobbs. Colin Oliver Hudson. Honor graduate, Chanel Marie Hoban. Shade Imani Holmes. Benjamin Tyler Huffman. Carson Mariah Hunter. Ariz Saeed Hussein. Sharon Muhammad Hussein. Honor graduate, Yasmin Aiden Hussein. Matthew Omar Hussein. Quentin David Hussein. Danny Ty Wynn. Honor graduate, Dennis Beck Wynn. Honor graduate, James Wynn. Joel Lamb Wynn. Roman Michael Ingerson. Ingersoll. Honor graduate, Jessica Andrea Anescu. Kingsley Olisimek Itue. Tremaya Quintea Jackson. Anaya Simone Jarrett. Taya Lillian Jason. Deanna Jelani, honor graduate. Jesus Manuel Jimenez Zara. Jeremy John. Honor graduate, Mansa John. Giselle Michaela Johnson. Honor graduate, Lance Thomas Johnson. Cameron Ellis Mamuna Jolly. Caleb Joshua Jones. Adrian Demetrius Jones Jenkins II. Adonis Kashmir Jordan. Justin Joseph. Honor graduate, Naomi Tulene Kabango. Honor graduate, Caitlin Rose Karen. Honor graduate, Esther Chayum Kim. Honor graduate, Julia Esther Kim. Loair Clefty. Draven Bryce Noel. Honor graduate, Sydney Alexandra Kalaki. Julian Alistair Chipotle Kotati. 
Sam Cote Diel. Honor graduate, Ashley Yun Kwan. An Han Lewin. Honor graduate, Bond Edwin Sharp Lackey. Drew Lang. Takavian Kimon Lanier. Sophia Lara. Dominique Lara Amador. Derek Maurice Lawson II. Midori Caroline Lay. Honor grad Alicia Pekachanda. Honor grad Bison Wong Lee. Honor grad Hannah Lee. Honor grad Tommy Lee. Go Shing Ariana Lee. Honor grad Justin Sahoon Lee. Nazir Rahim Lewis. Quadir Malik Lewis. Ki Hong Lo. Honor grad Hannes Aaron Longino II. Salalik Alexandra Lopez. Brian Jordani Lopez Costco. Xavier Elias Andre Loring. Nia Anye Lo. Ryan Christopher Lewis. Kylie Youngjin Luckman. Honor grad Gabriela Mitchell Lugo Molina. Amy Ha Luung. Billy Lee. Rodolfo Donovan Macedo. Honor grad Maria Theodora Machelek. Mohama Mafta. Brenda Guadalupe Magana. Ashmina Magar. Nainiti Adziri Maldonado. Andrew James Manis. Jahesi Isabel Mansueta. Jose Anthony Marquez. Jalen Autumn Martin. Honor grad Paulina Alexandria Martinez. Honor grad Carlos Mikel Matos. Truth Toriano Madison. Adonis Agumba Mbarama. Honor grad Isaiah Andre McAlpine. Honor grad Kai Reese MacArthur. Honor grad Declan Paul McMahon. Michael Emery Madrala. David Eugene Medzischer. Honor grad. Tone Edward Mensinger. Faraz Masum. Honor grad, Dylan Mera. Mercedes Lovejoy Ariana. Stacy Meza Polomik. Fasal Million. Liliana Miguel Torres. Honor graduate, Jasmine Millsap. Honor graduate, Maya Minhaj. Michelle Miranda. Tyrese Ernest Mixon. Shifa Baradin Mohammed. Honor graduate, Lana McKenzie Moore. Caleb Alexander Morales. Honor graduate, Edgar Raul Moreno. Deja Avari Ophelia Morris. Jalen Cecile Moses. 
Demi Moa, honor graduate Jadar Mumo Mungwela, honor graduate Rahida Nadim, Cameron Deshawn Nash, John Sebastian Negon, Jessica Nunjin, Desmond Sequan Nam, Jamie Lynn Satterley, Camila Schmidtdinger, honor graduate, so, uh, honor graduate Sophia Jordan Pagomanakis, Connor Declan Murphy. Honor graduate, Rotson Gabriela Martinez Gonzalez. Emma Neslanovic. Honor graduate, Angelina Wynn. Brian Wynn. Katie Wynn. Honor graduate, Kimora Wynn. Kim Teen Trin Wynn, honor graduate. Honor graduate, Mackenzie Powell Wynn. Honor graduate, Hannah Wynn. David Nikolai. Yeah. Emily Gabriella Nieto. Honor graduate, Hassan Nazar. E, honor graduate, E. Bin Nong. Kengudia Albert. Tumba, Patrick Augustin Olar, honor graduate, Courtney Ikundayo Magdalene Oludoja, Monique Angelise Oriana, Julieta Zalet Ortegosa, Kimberly Otera Valencia, Angel Giovanni Ovalle, Tristan Owens. Valerie Ozuna Sal Salcido. Sofia Palacio Milan. Honor graduate, Adiva Khan Parisa. Olivia Larie Mufaletto, honor graduate. Ilias Muhammad. Honor graduate, Rame Khalid Munir. Honor graduate, Xavier Francois Munyangango. Alexis Jade Murphy. Gabrielle Kennedy Pass. Honor graduate, Krisha S. Patel. Honor graduate, Lillian Maureen Patterson. Emaya Paul. William Andre Pava. Tyler Keith Payne. Valerie Pena. Charles Allen Sharif Pennington III. Santiago Penuela Matayana. Honor graduate, Andy Perez. Madison Victoria Perez. Kaylee Malia Perry Manning, honor graduate. Hon honor graduate, Mark Joseph Petrucci. Honor graduate, Connor Dodd Phillips. Nicholas Glenn Pierre. Michaela Jalia, Jalia, Jalila Pinchinat. Pinchinat. Leslie Maria Pineda de los Santos. Alina Sky Pinzon. Aiden Riley Pitts. Honor graduate, Jade Carol Pliego. Carmelo Zitavius Powell. Caden Zachary Michael Powers. Uliza Pratz. Monroe jo Jordan Oglesby. Chuma Kevin Okafor. Thomas Ridley Pitt Pridmore. Dana Jewel Primo. Arya Vishal Purohit, honor graduate. 
Honor graduate Jennifer Susie Kiroz. Hamdan Abdul Rahim. Raja Ramasami Natisan. David Antonio Ramirez. Honor graduate Heidi Rocio Ramirez. Ryan Yulid Ramirez Morales. Erica da Daniela Ramos. Honor graduate Madison Ann Rawson. Megan Clarice Reeves. Alan Matthew Ritter. Amelia Mayosha Catherine Sargent. Nayana Amari Ryden. Samuel Elias Rijo. Victor Nirondon Ritmasai. Adrian Alexander Rivas Rodriguez. Gabriela Bondoc Roakin. Farah Lindia Robinson. Karen Polanco Sufrond. Honor graduate Emily Grace Porter. Honor graduate Jada Monet Porter. Haley Virginia Robinson. Brandon Gabriel Rodriguez. Matthew Angel Rodriguez. Honor graduate Sebastian Rodriguez. Jair Rodriguez Velasquez. Colin Jeffrey Rogers. Honor graduate Emmanuel Romero. Colin Elliott Roof. Honor graduate Jacob Edward Rutkowski. Honor graduate Rena Sarah Sabu. Honor graduate Erica Saivandi. Maya Denise Sulone. Alina Gabriela Sampson. Honor graduate Alexander Sanchez. Natalie Nicole Sanchez. Isabella Sandoval. Honor graduate Pamela Santana. Edwin Santana Arteaga. Jean Paul Santillan. Honor graduate Valerie Santillan. Honor graduate Helen Rebecca Santos Valdez. Kayla Sarazen. Emily Dene Reed. Kaylin Ernest Reed. Zachary Eugene Tucker Reed. Honor graduate Rami Mohammed Rashad. Isabel Reyes. Honor graduate Daniel Enrique Reyes Villegas. Isaiah Thomas Richardson. Silas Richmond. Kaylee, honor graduate Kaylee Grace Shea. Michael David Sheehan. Matvey Shipgunov. Kanza Hajara Sadiq, honor grad. Honor grad, Ori Estella Silva. Devante Delano Sinclair. Anderson Chase Smith. Honor grad, Cooper Michael Smith. Sadie Amelia Smith. Honor grad, Adletta Soe, honor grad, Tyler David Sorensen, honor grad, Elizabeth Sosa, Kayla Alexis Sprawls, Malik Emmanuel Sumer, Devon Naeem St. John, Frederick Romero Sterling, Amir Keyshawn Stewart, Jack Lorenzo Stewart, Isaiah Caden Stokes, Kyan Michael Stewart, Story Autumn Strickland, Anaya Stringer, Honor Grad Adriana Fanny Suyo Ramos, Shune Sinu Charles, Honor Grad Vivian Elisa Servano. Talayla Twanche Tanner, honor grad. Honor grad, Maya Rose Tate. Carver James Taylor. 
Nora, Alexandria, Taylor, Azavian, Tanya, Marth, Schwanto, Brian, Luis, Tejeda, Honorgrad, Daniel, Ratana, Tep, Cecil, Salorb, Teta, Rita, Frina, Tahir, Chi, Thelitu, Than, Aubrey, Ryan, Thayer, Isaac, Thomas, Honorgrad, Luke, Gregory, Thomas, Honorgrad, Stephen Mitchell, Thomas II, Honorgrad, Stephen Thomas, Honorgrad, Tamia, Amani, Thomas, Blake, Tyler, Thompson, Christopher, David, Thornton, Colby, Wayne, Threckle, Isabella, Mia, Toledo, Honorgrad, Dylan, Thot, Ton, Jordan, Toro, Londano, Rashid, Anthony Scott, Tyreek, Jacques, Jacques Sellers, Daniel Tadkad, Has, Daniel Hassan Tadkad, Honorgrad, Jacob Joseph Taft, Honorgrad, Holland Catherine Tate, Honorgrad, Joshua Glenn Tanner. Sean, Mario, Uribe, Oriana, Tamia, Michaela, Van, Julian Vargas, Sarah Vargas Restrepo, Haley, Rose, Garcia, Santaya, Marcos, Joel, Vega, Honorgrad. Ayub, Abdul, Sidia, Vaughn. Amy, Kuramoto, Velasco, Bonilla. Juan, Manuel, Velasquez, Sierra. Ileana, Margarita, Venegas, Honorgrad. Honorgrad, Valeria, Villalba, Brianna, Villarreal, Honorgrad, Zachary Lee, Vincent, Honorgrad, Joanna Lee, Vo, Honorgrad, Evan Matthew Voss, Honorgrad, Joseph Huang Thing Vu. Honor grad, Michelle Cecilia Vu. Amina Nicole Wade. Zachary Demerit Wade. Makaram Wahid. Saku Ibrahim Torre. Honor grad, Mariah Ariel Townsend. Honor grad, Ann Not Go Tran. Honor grad, Jennifer K. Tran. Honor grad, Sky Gia Ni Tran. Honor grad, Rachel Abigail Trafon. Caitlin Van Truong. Liana Marie Tuggle. Caleb Christopher Waters. Raina Aaron Michelle Waters, Cannon Anthony Wayne, India Isis Weaver, Honorgrad, Honorgrad Jayla Daviana Wells, Victor Emilio Winces, Honorgrad Haley Morgan White, Jasmine Amaya, Amaya White, Abigail Grace Williams. Antoine Damon Williams II. Jaden Bernard Williams. Shania Christina Williams. Evan DeLacy Willis. Kia Kiaia Joey Wilson. 
Raven Alora Wilson. Honor grad Ashley Shayon Wan. Emma Wood. Evan Ian Wooten. Honor grad Destiny Amani Wright. Honor grad Annie Wu. Emily Dakota Wynn. Riley Amaya Wakefield. Michaela Latrice Walker. Shiana Olivia Indira, Indira Wallace. Jacqueline Wang. Honor grad Nicole Wang. Honor grad Chandler Scott Ware. Abigail Elizabeth Warner. Amir Timothy Warren. Honor grad Jace Isaiah Yang. Honor grad Desiree Yosef. Romaya LaShawn Young. Jessica Zhao. Kylie Elizabeth Zinn. Honor grad Bela Lee Zobi. Please give all these graduates a round of applause. Good afternoon. My name is Aria. My name is Aria Parohit, the senior class secretary. I will be sharing the legend of class rings. The custom of wearing class rings has been handed down from the traditions of the past. The class ring has come to represent the symbol of the graduate and the cadet. In the United States, the the custom of wearing class rings, now universally popular, was inaugurated by the Military Academy beginning with the class of 1865. Every ring bears the Academy crest on one side and class crest on the other. In the ring are incorporated the principles absorbed at West Point. The class crest signifies the friendships formed with classmates and welded by four years of common work and play. The academy crest serves to remind the wearer of his alma mater and the ideals for which she stands. It is customary until graduation for the student to wear the ring so the name of the school is most easily seen by the ring wearer. After graduation, the ring is reversed, so the name of the alma mater faces the world. Graduates, you may now turn your rings. Thank you. At this time, graduates, we ask that you join our senior chorus in singing the alma mater, which is printed in your program. If you would please rise.
thank you for joining us in the alma mater. Parents and guests, you may be seated. Graduates, remain standing. Parents and guests, when the recessional music begins, the graduates will recess out behind the stage. Please plan to meet your graduate at your prearranged location. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels to the left. Once again, I present to you the Collins Hill High School graduating class of 2023. Congratulations, graduates.